I will teach you to think in Yazidi. Do you think you are responsible for your actions and fit? Thoughts? The problem is that we are sure that we are free to think and act as we want and when we want, but is it so? Think about it, why are you reading this article? Why did you click on this link, and what is there? Do you really think that I will teach you to think in Yazidi? What if I tell you that we just live in a world where everything has already been decided for us, by the method of selection of social consciousness? What is it and what is it with? For example, take the fate of our people, the Yazidis. We are all well aware of the history during which our people are persecuted for our religion, culture, or even just because we are Yazidis. Thanks to this, a sphere appears in our consciousness, so to speak, which forms feelings of fear and helplessness in us. This is the sphere that makes many people give up their identity, accept another faith, forget their language, forget who you are. Why does this sphere appear? The method of selection of social consciousness will tell us about this. This method, through the manipulation of words, actions, inspires our cognitive consciousness with what it wants. The example of our people is the perfect proof of this. Do you want to be someone? We are given a choice to give up our identity for the good of our future. This really works, here is an example of this, many Yazidis, especially young people, in order to stand out and show themselves, attract attention to their persona, abandon their religion and do not speak their native language. The problem is that when we hear the word manipulation comes to mind, a shadow state, various kinds of conspiracies that eventually lead us to various theories. I assure you, the method of selection of social consciousness is used even by your loved one, whom you trust, and no, he does not do it consciously. Your loved one, who gives you advice, conditionally, how to dress or how to behave in society, by these actions and words he creates a sphere for you that gets used to your consciousness and will carry out the selection of your values there. This method eventually becomes a parasite, which is increasingly developing a zone of influence. I'll tell you what, even now you are under the influence of this method, reading this article. Take, for example, the same world media that, after the events of 2014 that happened to our people, began to write more and more about us so that the world would know our pain. Here a logical question arises, why did they start noticing us after the blood was shed? Now my words shock you a little, but they started noticing us, because these events began to bring them profit. Yes, it is the profit that interests them. Before these events, we did not exist. We have always been and remain. Yes, of course we are grateful to them that the world community has noticed us, but at what cost? Having asked Nadia Murad, does she want to receive the Nobel Peace Prize, knowing that she will survive? What do you think she will answer? In addition to all this that I wrote above, the media inspire people with feelings of fear and an insecure future. Again, the method of selective social consciousness slips into action. What if we create this method ourselves in our eye, we create these fears ourselves and live by them? Is it so? Can we create these fears without outside influence, or can we create these fears for another person? Generally accepted laws, stereotypes, religious dogmas, etc. All these factors act, one way or another, on our consciousness. No matter how much we want, no matter how much we shout about our individuality, we will not be able to live outside this method. But we are still subject to try to repel others with our spheres that they want to impose on us. If you have read this article to the end, you will notice that a certain paradox has formed. This paradox lies in the fact that everything starts with your eye and develops into a mass eye, which is then used in the method of selection of social consciousness.